Statisticians use shapes to reveal the patterns in the data. But we also use images of all kinds to communicate statistics to a wider public. Because if the store in the numbers is told by a beautiful and clever image, then everyone understands. Of the pioneers of statistical graphics, my favorite is Florence Nightingale. There are not many people who realize that actually she was known as a passionate statistician and not just a lady of the lamp. She said that to understand God's thoughts, we must study statistics, for these are the measure of his purpose. Statistics was for her a religious duty and moral imperative. When Florence was nine years old, she started collecting data. Her data was different fruits and vegetables she found, put them into different tables, trying to organize them in some standard form. And so we have one of Nightingale's first statistical tables at the age of nine. In the mid-1850s, Florence Nightingale went to the Crimea to care for British casualties of war. She was horrified by what she discovered. For all the soldiers being blown to bits on the battlefield, there were many, many more soldiers dying from diseases they caught in the army's filthy hospitals. So Florence Nightingale began counting the dead. For two years, she recorded mortality data in meticulous detail. When the war was over, she persuaded the government to set up a royal commission of inquiry and gathered her data in a devastating report. What has cemented her place in the statistical history books are the graphics she used, and one in particular, the polar area graph. For each month of the war, a huge blue wedge represented the soldiers who had died from preventable diseases. The much smaller red wedges were deaths from wounds and the black wedges, deaths from accidents and other causes. Nightingale's graphics were so clear, they were impossible to ignore. The usual thing around Florence Nightingale's time was just to produce tables and tables of figures. I mean, absolutely really tedious stuff that, unless you're an absolutely dedicated statistician, it's really quite difficult to spot the patterns quite naturally. But uh, visualizations, they tell a story. They tell a story immediately. And the use of color and the use of shape, um, you know, can really tell a powerful story. And nowadays, of course, we can make things move as well. Florence Nightingale would have loved to have played with, she would have been, produced wonderful animations. I'm absolutely certain of it. Today, 150 years on, Nightingale's graphics are rightly regarded as a classic. They sparked a revolution in healthcare and hygiene in hospitals worldwide, which saved innumerable lives, far more than her nursing work as Lady of the Lamp in the Crimea could ever have done. To find out more about the joy of stats, visit the Open University's Open Learn website.